Okay, welcome to the final video of cleaning up my barn. This is a piece of it, and what I'm getting ready to do here, I did to the other machines. I have these labels that I printed out. They're on half sheets labels. I created numbers from one up until, where did I stop? To 160. Then I started it all over again, just in case I wanted to do it more than once. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, what I did is I took my Chanel yarn, and I did the same thing to the, the big bond, the regular bond. I laid this in the slots from end to end to get my size. Okay, and I made sure. Now, in this case, I let him, I'm letting them overhang a bit. In the main bed, I just exact sized it. Okay, because these will get trimmed once I, if I ever put it together with the other machine. Okay, and then I get my needles out. And now that I got this sized up, I'm just going to take this out, and I'm going to put needles in. Not quite sure I didn't count them, and you just slide them. Remove your, just slide them into each hole that you want to do. Now, if you want to set up what I term a baby bond, you want to be able to have at least ten empty slots on either end of the machine, and that is so that your carriage will have a place to let the, you know, to, when you go back and change direction. Okay, you don't want to put two needles in one hole. That would not be very beneficial. And you just take one each with the nubs up and set them in each one of the holes. And let me just get this done quickly here. Okay. And you can just slide it around. Well, you don't want to put it in that hole either, obviously. But it will stand it up so that you can grab it. You want to have it with the neat the the hook portion of the needle facing you. So it's coming towards you. What you're gonna do is after you get all these in there, you want to lay that piece of yarn in this channel down here once you get each one of these needles into a channel. And I'm going to fill it up with as many needles as I can because this is going to be an extension to my machine. And it'll let me know if I'm missing any needles. them out of. I just kept them in a box so I wouldn't lose them, hopefully. It looks like I have more needles than I have bed. Okay, just fill them up. Yeah. If you're having a hard time, grab it. Just let it fall into a hole. Then you can grab the the end. Don't let it grab your fingers because th those tips are sharp. It will draw blood if you're not careful. Now I'm not going to put it into this hole. Let me show you. Into this hole because that's where I mean I'll keep one in reserve for it. So and I just you don't have to push these all back. I just do because I like to watch them pop up. And it tells me which one I'm missing. Okay, then you take your my sh the chenille yarn laid in the channel. Then take your green bars, and just like we did earlier, you're gonna pop them. Each one of it's like this one has a hole in it, and which one is it? 
this one has a small hole in it. These are going to line up with those holes. There's nudges on this. You can feel it if you run your finger across. So they're going to line up with the holes that are in the machine. Once you get the first one into the right place, just line the others up. Now, if I'm putting these in the wrong direction, which is highly possible, when I go to hook them up to the other machine, I'll change them then. If you're all in the same direction, you're not in the wrong direction. Okay. Yeah, they're in the wrong direction. But that's, I'll, I'll change them later. If you find that they are, just bring the needles forward, holding the hand gently here so it doesn't go flying, and pop them up like that. But I'm not going to worry about them right now because they're just mainly going to hold it. Okay, now I have that done. My machine is all clean. And now I'm going to take my numbers. Now the way I line these numbers up, well, first off, the way I created the numbers, I created them so that they're eight millimeters apart on center. You peel the back off and you get, <coughs> you can see they're in numerical, low, well maybe not to seem too great. Let's see how close I can get it with a C in it. There we go. You can see them a little bit. They're, the, they're numbers. And I'm lining them up on the needle, not on the gray piece, okay? The number is lining up on the needle itself. Okay. And I do that because I don't want to remember, well, is the number to the left of the num needle or is it to the right of the needle? So when you line it up, just watch it and make sure the numbers are laying, are hovering over over the numbers. It didn't peel, so. And you can just peel each section off as you get to it, or all at once. And I have it set up against the, the green. And then I push down. And if it's a little bit off, I'll just separate it a little bit and line it up so that it's even. Even if I have to, now these are in sections. Okay, and this one's just a little bit off too, so. Where did it go? Yeah. I joined them earlier. Give it a little bit of a tug. And line up the this numbers. And like I said, I do it over the needle. Because I don't want any guesswork involved with it. So Okay. And and that's it to the then you put it together as I showed you earlier. And that's how I put my numbers on. And I will cut it here. Okay? And that is it. Have fun with your nice clean bond. And we did put it, the main part together earlier, but I wanted to show you how I put my numbers on it. Alright, thank you for watching and have fun with your clean bond. And thank you for coming to knit with me, even if you didn't knit today.